awesome God. Come on, let's worship Him this morning. How great Thou art. You are God. Mighty are Your miracles. We stand in awe. Come on, help me. Behold the name. Lord, we bow. Lord, we bow. And worship you. Come on, sing it with me on this morning. An awesome God. How great, how great thou art. You are God. You are God. Mighty are your miracles. We stand in awe of your holy name. Lord, we bow. Lord, we bow and worship you. Come on, sing it to him this morning. An awesome God, how great thou art. Because you are God, mighty are your miracles. We stand in awe of your holy name. Lord, we bow, Lord, we bow and worship Father God in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ on this morning touch your people this morning heal your people this morning deliver your people this morning set them free this morning in the name of Jesus Christ teach your people the power of prayer we pray that they would walk away from more wisdom knowledge and understanding from this broadcast this morning not my will but let your perfect will be done in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god somebody say amen praise god so listen we are continuing on this morning on the power of prayer series we've been on that this entire week many of you have been enjoying it learning a lot of stuff your faith is increasing in the things of god and on this morning this is what i want to talk about persistence in prayer pays off persistence you know persistence means you are determined never to give up you are a person who knocks and keep on knocking you don't stop until you see results come on talk back to me uh, Pastor Amy can tell you I'm persistent. <laughs> I remember when I first started chasing behind her in Bible school. I know you like this kind of stuff, you guys. <laughs> it's all right. We need a good laugh. Man, she would turn me down. She would turn me around. She had me waiting. She had me doubting. But I was determined you ain't going to tell me no. I ain't accepting no for an answer. But I was persistent. She just wanted to make sure I meant business. And I, I wasn't just thinking she was just some, you know where I'm coming from. She proved her point. But I proved mine too. Because I was dogged determined and dogged persistence and f persistent. And finally she said yes. <laughs> now, if some of you had that type of determination, Determination. When it comes to prayer, you would get your prayer answered just about every single time. But some of you are too quick to give up. Listen, God, God wants you to come after him. If you, let me ask you this question. How bad do you want it? I, I'm, I'm one of them people. Look, when I set my eyes on something, trust me, I don't believe in giving up or letting go until I get what I'm seeking God for. Are you listening to me? This brings us to a passage of scripture in the book of Luke chapter 11, verses 5. And Jesus said unto them, Which of you shall have a friend and shall go unto him at midnight and say unto him, Friend, lend me three loaves. For a friend of mine in his journey has come to me. And I have nothing to set before, man. I have a visitor and I, I, need, I need to put some food in the front of him, but I'm out. I'm, I'm kind of low right now. Can you help me out with a piece of bread or something? And he from within, now I want you to pay attention to the words of Christ here. Jesus said, and he from within shall answer and say, trouble me not because my door is now shut. 
man, we in bed. And my children are with me in bed. I, I cannot get up at this time of the night, man, and give you. I, I'm asleep. Leave us alone. She pretty much the answer is no, I'm not going to give you the bread. I'm not going to lend you the money. I'm not going to lend you the extra flour or whatever it is that you need. We're sleeping right now. Leave us alone. Now, this, this, this is one of my favorite passages to teach on prayer because this was one of the, these were one of the scriptures that literally changed me in Pastor Amy's prayer life. I mean, it literally changed our prayer lives. Not only did God allow us to uh, allow, use this strategy in prayer, but also in other things that we go after for the kingdom of God, trying to get certain things accomplished. You got to be dogged, determined for God to tell you, yes, are you listening to me? You don't just pray one time, and if you don't get it, oh, God don't want to give it to me. Oh, give me a break. Come on, guys. When you were going after that woman, ain't nobody on planet earth could have turned you away well how come when we get saved and full of the holy ghost and come into the kingdom of god we expect these things to just fall in our laps like ripe cherry off a tree come on somebody we got to be aggressive god tests us sometimes to see how serious we are about what he wants to do for us now watch this so the fella on the inside of the house, say, man, it's, it's late at night. Leave us alone. I, I can't get up and give you at this time. Now watch this. The Bible says in verse 8, Jesus said, I say unto you, here comes the key. I say unto you, though he will not arise and give him because he is his friend, yet because of his importunity, because of his shameless persistence, that's what that means, he will get up and give him as many as he needs. Did you hear what I just, did you, wait a minute, wait a minute. Keep it low. Did you hear what I just said to you? Jesus said, even though he is not going to get up and give him the bread because he is his friend, yet, Glory to God, if you could get a hold of this, your prayer life, your prayer life going to change before 2020 come to close up, your prayer going to be answered. Jesus said, even though he is not going to get up and give him bread, because they are friends, yet because of his importunity, because of his shameless persistence, he will rise up and give him as many as he needs. So you know what that tells us? Persistence in prayer overrides, it overrides the closeness of that relationship. Not in a negative way, but I'm talking about in the sense that Jesus is saying, even though the man's not going to get up and give it to him because they are friends, but because of his dogged persistence and determination, the man is going to get up and say, let me give you as much bread as you want, man. <laughs> and then listen to what else Jesus said. And I say unto you, ask and you shall receive. Now, I ain't talking about some of you ladies praying to get that other woman husband. The devil is a liar. That's adultery and that's covetousness. That's not what I'm talking about. And you men, I ain't talking about you praying to get someone else's wife because God ain't going to answer that prayer because that is outside of the will of God. God ain't promoting adultery. Come on, talk back to me here. Hello, somebody. And you lusting after something that somebody else got. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about God giving you your own stuff giving you your own finances, giving you your own home, your own car, your own, your own, your own, whatever you fill in the blank. But it's got to be in line with the will of God. Jesus said, even though the guy is not going to get up at midnight and give the man the bread because they are friends and are good, good buddies, yet because of his persistence, his importunity, Jesus said he's going to get up and give him as much as he needs. That is what changed my prayer life. When I realize 
I can't just ask God about it just one time. I've got to show God I mean business with it. Um, and you know, whilst we are praying for God to do some things for us, do you know God is working on us? Because sometimes, this is what I learned in my relationship in walking with God. Sometimes when you first ask God for something, it's not that it is not His will, but sometimes you are not prepared to receive it. You are too immature or too irresponsible or there are some things God need to work out in your own life and bring you to the place that when he does answer your prayer, you are responsible enough and wise enough and have the mind of God concerning this thing enough to know how to act and how to carry yourself, ter carry yourself and how to manage what God gives you. Can I get a witness here? You know, Jesus said, if you be faithful in the small things, God will make you ruler over much. So why is God going to give you a million dollars when you can't even manage $20? Come on, God don't operate like that. Why is God going to give you a million dollars when, when you ain't even faithful with a hundred dollars? Give me a break, saints. Listen, we got to, we got, we, 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 get, listen. God gave us a brain. He gave us common sense. It's not a sin to use common sense. Are you, are you listening to me? When he said lean not to your own understanding, he is talking about leaning on a way, on the way the world does stuff as opposed to the way God would have you to do it. That's leaning to your own understanding. Notice he didn't say don't lean to your common sense because common sense would save a whole lot of us out of a whole lot of trouble. If we just use our brain sometimes, it'll save us out of a whole lot of messes. We don't pay attention to the signals. You know that person ain't trustworthy. You are catching them in this lie. You catching them in that lie. You smell liquor on their breath. You smell marijuana. You smell some type of dope on them. And yet you still, you trying to bind the devil. Oh God, save this man and bring him into my life. And then you marry an unsaved person outside of the will of God because the Bible says, be not unequally yoked together. And then you wondering why all hell breaking loose in your marriage. Because you never should have married the guy in the first place because God was trying to get your attention you just thought your family are just jealous yeah sometimes that's the case but i'll tell you what if you got a spiritual family sometimes your family can see that 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 fella is a piece of garbage he's no good and means you no good and you just think they're trying to stop you that time it was god working through your family and friends and church people and pastor trying to rescue you but you with your stubbornness you're so determined to have your own way you march forward and you go ahead and do it. And now you are living in a Lord have mercy. But you're in it now. And you need to just pray through. Now you really need to pray God save him. And deliver him and set him free. Because you in it now. Amen. I don't, you know, I, I just had to go in that direction. The Holy Ghost pulled me in that direction. I make no apologies for it. I love him too much and I love God's people too much. But you got to be aggressive. You got to be determined. You know there was a false teaching if you ask God for something more than once you don't have faith. Well I dare you to call Jesus an unbeliever. Tell him he's full of unbelief. Jesus laid hands on the blind man the first time and he said what do you see? He said I see men as trees. Jesus said let me lay hands on you again. Man of Jesus had to had to knock more than once. Where does that put you and I? Jesus said, ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be open unto you. Here comes verse 10. This is the part I love. For everyone that asketh, receive it. My God, you ought to have been shouting. Hey, <laughs> I feel the Holy Ghost. I said you ought to have been shouting happy. Because your prayer is going to be answered. Listen. Persistence in prayer pays off. Jesus said, for everyone that asks him, everyone, my God. He said, everyone that asketh, receiveth. And to the person who seeks, finds. And to the person who knocks and keep on knocking, it shall be open. My God. Somebody help me give him praise. Somebody help me give him praise. My God, listen. I can't go like that. I got to read this. Listen to Angel's testimony. 
angel said I wanted to share my testimony about my second breakthrough in the past two weeks. I have been following your ministry for a year now, and I truly feel that you you all are led by the Holy Spirit. You are absolutely right, angel. I was praying for a better career opportunity and I received that today. I applied for a job back in in August that I have been looking at for so long. I got through the interview process in September, but in October, they emailed me to inform me that they had chosen another candidate. I cried and prayed simply because I needed something better for my family and for myself. But this angel didn't give up. About two weeks ago, an insider at the job told me to get ready for a phone call from HR. They wanted me on board. I accepted a contingent offer and went through testing. I got the call today that I have been given an official offer. Yes, I said yes. Thank you, Jesus, for always providing and covering me. Thank you, Pastors Sean and Amy for your wonderful God-given words that you are sharing with the world. Thank you for sharing your testimony, angel. Oh, come on, let's put our hands together and give God a praise. God is able to do, come on, just what he said he would do. He's going to fulfill, he's going to fulfill every promise to you. Never give up on God. Don't give up on God Cause He won't give up on you He's able, sing it with me Oh, 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 oh He's able, He's able Oh, 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 oh God is able, God is able to do Just what He said he would do. He's going to fulfill. He's going to fulfill every promise to you. Don't give up on him, church. Don't give up on God. Because he won't give up on you. He's able. Sing it. Oh, oh, oh. He's able. He's able. Oh. Oh, 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 he's able, he's able, he's able, somebody lift your hands and sing it, he's able, he's able, he's able, he's able, he's able, he's able. He's able. Father God, me and Pastor Amy, cover your people on this morning. Stir them up to pray. Stir them up to pray and keep on praying. Stir them up to seek and keep on seeking. Stir them up to knock and keep on knocking. Until the answer comes, until the breakthrough comes. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Glory to God. Listen. To give into the ministry to support the kingdom of God and the preaching of the gospel of Jesus Christ, you can visit us online right now at seanpinder.net forward slash give. seanpinder.net forward slash give. The ministry website is secured. You can also give through the ministry PayPal account. That address is paypal.me forward slash seanpinderministries. paypal.me forward slash seanpinderministries ministries you can also text to give text the letters spm to the number 45888 text the letters spm to the number 45888 you can also give through the ministry zell account the ministry zell email address is info at seanpinder.net info at seanpinder.net you can also give through the ministry cash app account the ministry cash up address is the dollar sign Sean Pender Ministries. You can also give by mailing your donations into the ministry. Just remember to make your checks and money orders out to Sean Pender Ministries, P.O. Box 2726, McKinney, Texas 
75070. Mighty God you are. Sing it with me. Oh! 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 He's able. He's able. Oh! 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 oh. Listen. We invite you to click on these videos right over here to my left, which is your right. Enjoy those other videos. They will build your faith. They will inspire you. Never forget, me and my beautiful wife, Pastor Amy, we love you. We appreciate you. Looking forward to seeing you again on tomorrow. God bless. Bye-bye.